This is a mind-boggling number. More than 30 lakh people enter the biology sector every year after passing their 10 plus 2 exam in just India. And out of that, 24 lakh people write the NEET exam. Number of seats is only 1 lakh. 1 lakh seats and you have 24 lakh people competing for it. So for every seat, there is 24 people competing. Such is the intense competition. But there is a second best option. And that's not pharmacy. That's not nursing. That is biotechnology. The biotech sector is growing leaps and bounds into our country. But still, I see a lot of people talking about it negatively and saying there is no scope, no future. Well, we'll come to that a little later. But this video is about all those parents who want to put their child into a biotech college. So yesterday, I had a, a parent, a father and mother from Patna, Bihar. And uh, they reached out to me and they wanted to know they have put their child into a college, which I have not talked about. So many parents come and say, you're not talking about VIT well, or we are not talking about uh, Gujarat Biotech University or Shulni University. So, you know, it becomes very difficult for me to talk about every university, but definitely in the due course of time, I will try. But what happens is, instead of telling you that this college is good, that college is bad or whatever, I am making generalized videos to give you the criterias. You use the criterias and judge by yourself. So in this video, I'm going to give you four criterias. The number one criteria is the faculty background. So take the background, the list of faculties from the college website or from the college information brochure. Check on LinkedIn what is their background? Are they from abroad, India? What is their experience in teaching? What is their experience in research? All of that you have to check. And if they don't have a LinkedIn profile, then you know there is a red flag. If they do have a LinkedIn profile and it is not updated, that is a red flag. They must have a good LinkedIn profile. Now, the second factor will be laboratory infrastructure. You know, colleges are supposed to have classes if it is a regular degree. But if it is a biotech degree, you need laboratory. So make sure that there is a laboratory. Make sure that students work in that laboratory. Make sure to talk to the students and ask, are there experiments happening in the laboratory? Because if the college is not able to give you that, then there is no point of learning only theory. So that's a second criteria. Third criteria would be the overall atmosphere and environment. Now that includes your hostel. Many a times I will say, don't go to this college because the atmosphere, I got a feedback from my subscribers who are uh, studying there. They will say, no, no, this college atmosphere is not good. So even though the faculties are good, even though lab is good, but there is no study atmosphere in the hostel or in the among the students. And that is where studious middle class student will suffer. So that is the third problem. Now the fourth problem, which or, or the fourth criteria, which you have to know is the food. Many a times you will feel that that's not a criteria at all. But if you are going to a different city, you're going to live in a different city and if the hostel is not providing good food, then even though you have everything, you don't have health. And if health is not there, your child cannot study. So it's very important to check the hostel food. Please make sure that the hostel is providing nutritious food because your child is going to be there for three years, four years. If it is too spicy, the cuisine is different. For example, you're going from North Indian to South Indian cuisine. So you have to ask, do you also provide North Indian cuisine? Because that can lead to a stomach upset or ulcers or other things also. So I'm not scaring you. I'm telling you that food is an important criteria. So moving forward, I have one last point for you is, if in case you're still in a dilemma, reach out to Biotechnica's customer su support number. You can always book a career guidance session with me. And we can talk in person, face to face, to find out what are the challenges you're facing and we'll try to help you out. But at any point in time, if you have a dilemma about placements, you should remember, remember that colleges, most of the time, may try to give you placement, but majority students go for a higher degree. But that does not, sh that should not deter you from asking the college, what about placements? How many companies came? Which all companies came? What is the proof? Find that out. So this is very, very important. You can always go to LinkedIn and check this college, who are the alumni, you can ask them. So, so I think I gave you four to five criteria. So now we will end this video by just telling you that biotech has hope, biotech has scope, 
Biotech is the second. In fact, the bet, it's a better option than MBBS. So if your child is opting for a biotech degree, all you have to do is support him, encourage him, nurture him, give him the right uh, college, and then you see he's growing to win the world. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.